postseason soccer region 20 semifinal the winner advances to the region championship the loser goes home Howard Community College the tournament's number two seed up against the defending region 20 champs the three seed Prince George's Community College PG enters the tournament ranked ninth in the NJCAA Division III rankings and on a four-match winning streak. Howard has won seven of its last eight, including an overtime win at Prince George's in early October. First half, 10 and white, Christian Alfaro goes to work. Alfaro secures possession for HCC. Daniel Fuentes. Long to Jared Simowitz. Howard threatening early. 16th minute, Howard throw. Quinton Valiente into space for Alfaro. One touch, Alfaro! Takes a deflection and he's given Howard the lead. Valiente on the far touch line, able to hit Alfaro in the middle of the field and he gets the shot off just in time. Alfaro making plays early on in this elimination game. 28th minute, free kick for PG. Edwin Claros, dangerous ball in. Simon Bradford somehow keeps it out. Howard once again able to win back possession. Valiente, tremendous run. Owls have seen enough and they decide to foul him. Nine minutes remaining in the first half. Carlos Calix, stronger on the ball. Superb ball over the top for Claros, but he misses the target. Howard possession, final third. Five owls crowd Francisco Fuentes. Adam Russo now. Daniel Fuentes gets down the side, sends it in. Steve Amanqua, tough save from Sosa. Second half, 27 minutes to go. PG throw in. Steve Amonqua all over Perry Lawrence. Amonqua wins the ball for HCC and he's fouled in the box. Amonqua's play results in a PK for Howard. Amonqua had Lawrence beat. Lawrence with the contact inside of the penalty area. Alfaro will take it. Howard takes a 2-0 lead. 10 minutes remaining. Corner for PG. Short. Calix sends in the cross. Takes a deflection. Grice! Breathes hope into the Owls. Uses his height. Makes it a one-goal game. Eight minutes. Christian Benavidez. Looking to make something happen for Prince George's. Here's a chance for the Owls. Justin Breedlove is able to break it up in time. Howard advances to the Region 20 Championship. First appearance in the Region Final since 2011 for Coach Dragunov's Dragons. Howard will carry a four match winning streak into Sunday's 1 p.m. Championship. Coach, what does this playoff win say about your team? It says a lot, you know, we're in the final, uh, they can fight, they can win against strong programs, and uh, we're happy to be in the final and looking forward to Sunday's game. So it's been a while since you've been to the final, what does that mean to you, working so hard to get back? It's always great when you award with what you put uh, throughout the season, and uh, that was my first uh, uh, pre-game talk, uh, first uh, sentence that I said to my players uh, before this game. You work so hard throughout the, the the season, you will be award as soon as you put the work out there in this game, and they did it perfectly. It seems like, as an outsider, the team's very close. They, they care about each other. I saw there was a player who was upset, and there was just four or five people coming up to him saying, hey, it's OK. What is that? Does that mean something? Is that, is that a strong showing before? All right, let me say that again. Is that, what does that say about your team, like their character, that they would pick somebody up when they're down like that? Oh, without characters, you can't win anything. 
We have some characters in this uh, uh, group and they're helping a lot this unit to be strong and compete. So, just the way this game played out after you conceded the second or the first goal, just were you worried at all at that point? Um, well, of course, we play against PG, which is a very strong team, very good uh, uh, program all, all over the years. Um, we we couldn't just be um, uh, started to celebrate the win with the first or the second goal we score. We know that they're going to try hard to the end. Um, you know, uh, we control the game, uh, especially the second half when we get the win. And the tactics in these kind of uh, games are very crucial, which perfectly uh, we execute these tactics uh, and pre-game uh, plan uh, throughout the entire game. Uh, basically, the players, they, they, they did it. Uh, we're putting uh, out there for them, but they did it. Um, the win that we uh, kind of we play with, uh, with uh, and the second half helped us a lot. Um, I'm glad we uh, didn't concede uh, a goal in the first half when we played against uh, uh, the win. That was plus for us. And it was a matter of time to scale the second, uh, you know, and we had some good chances to score third goal and kind of uh, kill the hope uh, in uh, our opponents to get back in the game. Um, they have their momentum in the last 10 minutes when, you know, uh, they get the goal. Um, it could happen. Um, it's nice to finish with the win. Last question before we start here. I know you're going to scout this game. What's one thing you're looking for tonight with the scouting of um, it's going to be Montgomery and Nova? Well, we play with the, the uh, both teams uh, uh, in the regular season. Uh, we beat Montgomery. We lost from Nova. Uh, we're going to look for the key players, uh, who they are, uh, how they develop uh, throughout the season, uh, what new they could have uh, as a strategies and players. Um, and we'll have some plan for Sundays. Daniel just got a playoff win. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling very happy. Uh, I think that we expected the win. And, uh, yeah, it was tough, but we got it. So uh, what made this one, this game so tough tonight? Well, I think in the first half, we couldn't really get a string of passes together. Uh, and they really pressed us very high. We weren't really ready for that. But I think in the second half, we uh, adapted, and we did well, I think. So going into the championship, you'll play the winner of the game that's going on right now. Anything you can do between now and then, or are you just focus on just fast-forwarding to Sunday? Well, we are prepared for this game. We were prepared, I'm sorry, we were prepared for this game, and we're going to be prepared for the next game. Yeah. Sawyer, after um, PG got that goal, as a defender, what's running through your body at that moment when it's 2-1? So, uh, f I mean, we try and maintain the same mentality um, no matter what the score is um, on the scoreboard. But uh, right after that goal, we was, it was really just to get back into our shape, um, kind of, you know, act like, you know, we're, we're down. You know, at that point it was 2-1, it was but we still, we always play like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, so the main, the main goal was just to get that, the goal back and uh, get back into our, you know, get back into the kind of shape that we want to be in. So it's probably the main main thought. As a, the defense seems like it's really playing tight soccer right now. Do you agree? You know, um, the defense, we have our ups and downs, um, but I think overall throughout the season we've been pretty consistent. Um, that's been our main focus. So um, as long as we're consistent and the defense is holding it down, I, th I think it sets a good um, precedent for the rest of the team. Um, yeah, I mean, so far so good. I mean, we uh, we shoot for the goose egg every time, but you know, we don't always get it. Yeah. What's it like playing with Simon behind you there? Um, I have absolute confidence in Simon. Um, the man's an animal. Uh, love Simon back behind me. Uh, the only thing is, I want him to be loud. I want him to command. Um, with Simon behind me, I feel like we really have a chance, uh, you know, going into going into our like, game on Sunday. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. I mean. Um, there's always an instance where we're going to have pressure, um, and so he'll have to make you know play every now and then. But um, hopefully he doesn't have to do too much. We want him to you know stay relaxed in the goal. So one thing I noticed watching your team from the outside, there was a player you know gets upset. Four or five people come up to him and say it's okay. What does it say about like the character of this team? Do you think? 
You know, um, I think throughout the season we've kind of grown. Um, we've we've kind of bonded, and a lot of the players on the team really um, have an affinity. And you know, off the field we're friends. So um, I think it speaks to how mature we've gotten. And coaches will say, you know, you got to have more maturity on the field. So um, we've kind of grown from that. And um, I'm happy to see that you know the guys are coming coming together and being more positive because that's our main our main focus um, and part of the reason that we try to emphasize so yeah so you came to Howard Community College it's your sophomore year you're gonna play for the region 20 championship on Sunday where's your head right now well um, it was the goal last year um, and we were at this position uh, unfortunately we you know we had Nova last year so uh, it's I'm happy that the team um, was able to pull out the win today um, my head right now is just looking forward to Sunday's game um, putting as as much effort and as much uh, a huge work rate in um, to pull out that win because you know it'd be great if I could go to nationals that'd be kind of cool so yeah that's the goal now that's the goal